at what point, at what, I like, I mean. Help me out, because I've actually had conversations like this with a lot of people here. What do you mean by a soul? What do I mean by what? What do you mean by a soul? By a soul? Yeah, man. I, I think. I mean, you believe it's, it's we have one. In what terms is it? Of, in terms of in Christianity, um, our body, our Speaking brain. Speaking just for you, because there's probably Christians that probably think something different. Yeah, you know? definitely. So what um, is the soul to you? To, to me, I think it's it's something that carries on after your physical body. Like heat? Like like your soul enters a new body after you die, and that's the soul that goes to heaven. Like We're not going to have, I'm not going to have this body, and you're not going to have that body when we enter the afterlife. We're going to have, our soul's going to carry on, and we're going to have new bodies. All right, how confident are you that that's a thing? I'm very confident. Like, can we do this real quick? Like, if this is no way, Jose, to, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, absolutely true. There's no way. You got one, too. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's magnetic, too. Yeah. So, like, white, definitely, definitely, absolutely, no way I could be wrong about it. Absolutely 100% true. Zero. There's no way in, no way in smeg. I'd say, for, for myself, yeah. it's absolutely true. Okay. Honestly, I'm about here right now. So it's not this. It's not that. It's more of like I'm open up. It's an open door for me. It's more like here. Yeah. I think it's also something that's, especially when we're, when we're bringing in religion, it's something that's more uh, it's more faith-based. So you're at absolutely sure, 100%? I'm absolutely sure. No I way can, you could be wrong? I can totally understand why somebody would be here. Mm -hmm. I cannot understand why somebody would be here. Cool. I think that's hard to say. Can, can I... What got you, and, I, and anytime you want to get up, it's fine. I'm sorry. This is taking too long. I said two minutes, right? <laughs> what got you to be so confident? What method did you use to become so confident that a soul exists? I, I mean, I was raised Christian in a, in a Christian home, and I... If you were raised Hindu, would you believe in the Hindu God? I, would, I do not know. <laughs> okay. If you were raised Mormon, would you probably be Mormon right now? Tell me about... I, would not, I, I do not know, but in terms of... Do you think of, it's reasonable? Uh, Mormonism? No, I mean, no, I mean, do you think people who are in India tend to be Mo Hindus? Yeah. People in Utah tend to be Mormons. People who... Parents are one thing. I mean, that's. Uh, is that a reliable way to come uh, to a hundred percent confidence? I'd something? say, yeah, nature. Well, I mean, nurture is obviously a very deciding factor in terms of what people end up yeah. being. Like, obviously, my parents were Christian, and that heavily influenced me. But so, what I'm trying I've to figure been, out is, what's the method that you're doing that justifies a hundred percent confidence in this? And if we can agree that you can be raised and believing different things just based on your upbringing, maybe upbringing is not that one hundred percent reliable yeah, well, method. I, I'm, I'm trying to say it's it's not just the upbringing. It's being in the Bible, praying, uh, you know, talking to God, and, you know, him opening my heart and uh, mm. me understanding. Personal uh, experiences. Pers yeah, personal experiences. It's... Do the personal experiences you have prove that the soul exists or that the God's true? I think it's, it's something that is... It's it's based in faith. So it, it what do you mean by be, faith? I mean by faith. I mean it's almost um, t taking a leap of faith is kind of like. Uh, oh, what's faith? Well, I'm trying to formulate it. <laughs> yeah, I love it. This is why we do these kind of talks. Just just a chance to talk about it. Faith to me, I think, is something that you you grow. You, know? you what? I, I think it's something that that grows as as you have more faith. Kind of just taking a you're using uh, faith in the trust, definition. Trusting something. Faith is trusting something. I, I think I think like um, I don't know scientifically like I don't know you know in terms of physical evidence if God exists or not. But I think. On a, in a faith way, like taking that leap of faith where you kind of open your heart and you, you think, okay, okay, God, I don't know if you exist or not, but yeah. I'm going to give you a chance. Mm. And then I think that's when God comes to you and he, he reveals himself. Because, I mean, I've noticed it um, with a lot of people is that, um, like, even, like, atheists, they'll, uh, staunch atheists, like, people who are really 
That's really? the first time I heard staunch this year. Really? I think so, yeah. Some like words just, just pick out to they're me. They're just like really hard in their their belief that, that God doesn't exist to the point in which it's 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 self destructive, it's it's angry, it's vindicative, and it's not even it, it's it's not giving God a chance, like, oh God, if you exist, reveal yourself. You know? Like that kind of leap of faith Can where I you say something? if we go back to that Hindu and say is I believe in Krishna because of faith. Would you then believe in Krishna? You say what? A Hindu uses faith to get to Krishna. And if he came here and says, I open up my heart to Krishna, I read the Bhagavad Gita, and now I have absolute proof because of my faith that Vishnu exists. Would now you say, oh, good, you use faith. Now I believe in Vishnu too? I'd say no, I wouldn't. I, I think it would be more... Is it possible to use faith? and arrive at a conclusion that's not true? I think, it, I mean, it's it's faith in in, in tandem with, with, with logic, because there's still... Faith is not enough. Faith is is not quite enough, yes. I'd say so. God has given us certain things that are... Is there a logical way to reach the conclusion that a God exists? I don't think so. I think... So without faith or logic, what's getting you to that 100%? I think it's faith... Um, and logic, logic which we, we can't get I, to. I think I think logic gets you this much, and then you need faith to get all the way. Because I think, well, I mean, logically, in terms of physical evidence, like um, God uh, in the through the Bible, which is a document that has lasted thousands of years, despite any you know uh, over any other document, like, over any other. Any other book, you know, it, or historical document, it's lasted and has more credibility in terms of historical accuracy um, than any other document. It's just like it, it's lasted for so long. If there was a book that was older, would you believe that? Not necessarily older, but it like if there was like a, of, a pagan god that was like even older than the Bible, far more that was like. Far is it more just credible. the fact that it's older? That it was. Well, it's that it's 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 very old. It's lasted for a very long time, and it's also the the credibility of it. Like we we have a lot of sources that say that the people who wrote these books are the people who wrote these books. Like what we know about the Bible. If there was we a more credible short. book from a different religion, would you believe that religion? Um. Maybe. Okay. I don't okay. know. I mean, we're, we're talking what ifs, so I don't like... Yeah, it's a question. Yeah, it's, it's difficult, but I think, that, yeah, so there's the, the book and then... I would um, think that if you cared about credibility, if there was a more credible religion, you'd switch to that religion. Yeah. I mean, if it's, yeah, if it's more credible... Like, I'd I don't know what yeah. if is, yeah. And I'd say if it's like, it's um, ethical, so I think can Christ, I put, Christianity can I? also has strong... I'm going to throw morality. out an example. If I flip a coin, it's back in my hand, right? Could be heads, could be tails. If I use faith and logic to say that this coin is heads up, would I be justified at 100% confidence that it's heads up? I'd say uh, faith is a little bit more of a back and forth than that. You, whereas you can have faith in God and God can come down to you, you know, come down to your level and, and really um, know you and you know him. Uh, the coin can the, the coin is just a coin. So the it's faith fit, doesn't affect it either way. The coin, the, yeah, faith does not affect the coin. Okay. And if we're talking about like a god, and people can, yeah. and if I, and if there was a Hindu that had faith in a god, and Shiva or Vishnu or any of the gods that they worship, just because they have faith doesn't mean that their gods real. Yeah. I'd say there's there's more to it than that. It seems like you can have faith in something and it's not and actually it not be the case or faith. And I have absolutely no application whatsoever. Sorry, what? Seems like faith is not 100% reliable if some people can use faith and not get to 100% uh, truth. Yeah, I'd say so. So what's justifying 100%? We're trying to help each other. That's. Um, I just feel 100% on it. Like the, the is just the, feeling the it faith, a reliable way to come to a true conclusion? I think in terms of in terms of how, like how long I've I've studied the Bible and I've seen the truth of the gospel, and even the way if you met an older Hindu, would you believe it because he did it longer than you did? 
Sorry, what? If there was a Hindu that was older than you who's been having his relationship with his no, God longer. No, I mean, like, in terms of what I've seen through the gospel and the Bible, yeah. and reading it and studying it and seeing the truth in it, even in terms of the things that, uh, for the time the Bible was written, far advanced from that culture from that time, like, it... And all the people who believed in it and what they said and the prophecies and the the history of it, uh, it a lot of it a lot of it checks out. Like it's in terms of the things that happened, you know. And then I think having faith and, and talking to God brings you that other percent. If you didn't have faith, would you still be a hundred percent? No. I would not be 100% so it doesn't if I sound did like not have faith. I think the, the Bible is very uh, clear that you you need faith to reach 100%. And, and if I had, and this is my last example, <laughs> if I had two weather reports and they both said that there was a 20% chance of rain, does that mean there's a 40% chance of rain? Or am I just reading two reports that say 20% rain? I think you're just reading two reports. How does combining two things that aren't 100% reliable lead to a 100% reliable conclusion? You said, uh, logically, we can't reach that faith conclusion. Faith is not 100% reliable because some people use it and it can still be wrong. How does combining these two things together lead to 100%? I, I think it's, it's, in terms of the logic, it's weighing what you need to put your faith in and putting your faith in it. Um, reaches uh, it, it brings you the uh, the rest of the way i how i think i think you're you're drawing on a, a false equivalency in terms of your your weather reports 20 20 percent just the the nature of faith and the nature of logic are two very different things cool. can we agree people use faith and reach wrong conclusions yes we can agree on that okay. <laughs> cool i would um, love to know then if we know faith isn't 100 percent liable I need to, What's justifying that? I need Feel free to, to come back to me on that. I, I need to check out if my friend is uh, done with his thing. Man, it was nice talking to you. Talking to you too. What's your name? Uh, Tyler. Tyler, Tyler nice to meet you. Does this go online or? Yes. Okay. Where? Feel free to take a card. Let's chat. Let's chat. If you have an idea of what is a reliable way to reach your absolute point, because I've seen people who did this, or like people who've done that, yeah, and that's all good. But when you're here, it's to me like. I'm so sure that I'm closed-minded about anything else. There's nothing else that convinced me. I have no room to grow anymore. I'm at my maximum point. I would say I'm st still definitely willing to grow, but... Um, if you're willing to grow, and there's another person who's not willing to grow because they're so sure, I would say only one of those people are 100% sure. That's a fair point. Well, Tyler, nice meeting talking to you. nice talking to you. Cool. Thanks. Hello. Hey, you want to talk with me?